literally the most annoying question I ever get, and I don't know how many times I have to address it, but no, it's not cosmetic surgery. My ass is real. This is just what a fat, juicy dump truck of an ass looks like. This is literally the most... <laughs> okay. Gentlemen, nice to have you join me in my office. On my desk today is a new report for us to examine, so grab yourself a cup of coffee, hang in there, and let's get right into the topic at hand. The topic at hand being, men are weak. Mia Khalifa is living on recruit difficulty. Yeah, wow, yeah, gentlemen, I am absolutely blown away by that cutting board shaped booty. I think she missed the questions where they asked about her body and not her booty um the botox is clearly affecting her brain and yes her breasts are in fact fake when she was 26 she actually took a hockey puck to them and her implants exploded also she has a nose job and it's not like she's going to fully admit that in the video uh, calling that person that asked ugly like if you're so beautiful, why the need to alter your breasts and your nose? Let me roll the clip, by the way, that she commented on this because somebody talked about it. Actually, there was a little bit of rib damage, but what would have happened if the implant wasn't there is it would have induced a heart attack because of the, because of the velocity of the hockey puck. It was going like 65 miles per hour, and my doctor said that if it wasn't there... Actually, there was. And it cuts off, but she was going to say I could have died. Wow, gentlemen. I guess that's probably the only physical <laughs> good function of having implants there. Um, shit, imagine if that actually would have destroyed her. Like, I'm sure some people would want to see her downfall, but just a crazy story. <laughs> And for some reason, somebody took in the comments to say, Note to self, get implants so I don't have a heart attack. Yeah, no, don't do that. Either way, uh, gonna play one that's most likely gonna make you cringe. It made me cringe. Let's play it. Viewing men as something to get, to be gotten? No. Men are the easiest thing in the entire world. Okay, first off, sweetheart, put down the freaking pogo before you say um, we should be chased after. Why would anybody want to chase after your ass? Put the food down. Take this seriously if you're going to record things. World, If you are wondering how you and another woman got the same man, it is because men are the easiest thing in the entire world. I have never wanted a man and not gotten him. Do you have any idea how many men have wanted me? Yeah, they've wanted to finish in you. <laughs> or on you, whatever works. Probably on you. The last thing you want is to uh, be stuck with child support with this one. And not gotten me? Granted, granted, some dusties have caught me slipping. But there has never been a single man that I have wanted that I have not gotten because men... Viewing men is something to get, to be So gotten. I don't think you heard that there, gentlemen. At the end, she whispered, Miss Brave over here, that men are cheap and easy. Okay, I got on load on this one. Clips like this make me absolutely furious. So, let's start off. These two, and the whole title, me sitting thinking how me and Miss Ugly get the same men, um... You're not that attractive. <laughs> You're really not that attractive. And even look at this one. Like, she just looks like a clown. And you're being an absolute clown eating when you should instead be uh, recording seriously. But, you know. Miss Mia over here. Super beautiful. Super <laughs> natural, apparently. Um is quite the opposite of that um natural beauty but yeah more like the two at this start are a dime a dozen but let me unload here on mia so a prize worth chasing um men are easy 
Like, look, we certainly don't get to be as picky as you, um, that's for sure. But that doesn't make us easy in any regards. Uh, we're aware that we don't have the pick of the litter, except for the rare few of us. And sure, you got them, but look what happened. They had their fun with you and left you, and now you're trying to convince us we are easy? Try again. She can't even bravely say that we are cheap and easy at the end there. Like, some guy gave her a Birkin bag for absolutely no flipping reason. Try again. I mean, we get weak for the pink taco if you want to go ahead and call us easy in that regards, but we have our moment with you, and then we have that post-nut clarity and realize that it's not everything, and neither are you. You know, you're just a used-up, angry ex-prawn star who can try to escape her past all she wants, but the dark times will always live in your shadow, and uh, the consequences are real. Let's roll the last clip here, just for Miss Mia. Mm, because I'm not renewing contracts. That's why. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly. Well, speaking of us being weak, you weren't strong enough to stay in a marriage for two years. Most people have normal relationships that last two years or more, but you can't last in one for two years. I just, wow, it's just shocking uh, how very strong of you. I really hope that she does not get married again without doing some serious work on herself this time. And gentlemen, this is her second attempt at um, being married and she's failed at marriage again. Um, how pathetic, you know, she's truly living on recruit difficulty, you know, there's no need to worry about money, anyone will do anything for her because she's quote unquote pretty, I think she's very basic looking to be honest with you, I'd never got her appeal, and you can keep on failing without much consequence, like she's just gonna keep on raking in uh, the half and half of this one too, so like... I don't know how wealthy the guy is that she married, but she's going to take a cut of that on top of whatever she's been, you know, making. But then again, he gets a part of that as well. So 50-50. Listen, Mia, my advice to you, turn up the difficulty before you call us the frontliners, the ones living on veteran difficulty weak. Oh, I've had enough of talking about this one. She really doesn't deserve any more attention. Fiends, it's been a pleasure presenting my findings to you today. And if you like my content, help spread it throughout YouTube by liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Turn on the notification bells. I'll have new findings for you every single day. Do comment down below the video with your thoughts on this creator and any thoughts of mine that resonated with you or any topics of discussion in regards to this video. Don't forget to visit Taylor's channel today as well to catch up on his content. But until tomorrow, thank you for watching as always. Do your due diligence.